Hello, YouTube family. This is Beverly Black. And how is everyone doing today? Today, we are going to be making some homemade goulash. I have um, one of my subscribers or family members ask how to make homemade goulash and you will learn how to do it today. Stay tuned. <music> two pounds of hamburger meat, our ground beef, and I already have it in this Dutch oven pot, and we're going to brown it. I also have one onion diced up and one green pepper, and as this gets a little browner, we are going to add those to the mix. This is an easy recipe, very, very old. I had goulash when I was a child. So, but it's easy to make, it's good. When you get through making it, you can put some par Parmesan cheese on top if you like, or some cheddar cheese, or whatever type of cheese you like. You can eat it with Italian bread, breadsticks, or as we're going to have today, cornbread. So, Stay tuned. You can to, you can wait until your hamburger gets a little browner to add the peppers and onions, or you can add them now, like I'm going to do. And this is a whole green pepper that I have cut up. Adding that to the mix. And here is a whole onion that has been diced up. We're gonna brown this and cook this all together. I wish you could smell it cooking. I love to smell peppers and onions cooking together. Now they have cooked down, and if you have a lot of um, liquid from the hamburger, when you uh, have fried it up here, drain it off. I've drained some already off. Next, we're going to add two cups of diced tomatoes. Two 14.5 ounces, not cups, cans. Two 14.5 ounces cans. Y'all know I can burger up some stuff. Okay. There's one can. And these are diced tomatoes. We're gonna mix this up together. Now we're gonna add two cans of tomato sauce that are 15 ounces. Does not matter the brand, what store brand or name brand, whichever one you wanna use. We're gonna put two cans of this in. Turn it up a little, just a tad, and we're gonna stir this all up together. Then we're gonna put a little garlic into the mixture.
You can use fresh garlic, whichever garlic you want. I am using this, about a tablespoon. Put that in there. Now, we're gonna put in some Italian seasoning. And I'll say about a tablespoon, but I'm just gonna be sprinkling right now. And you do it to taste, once you taste your seasoning, to see if you have it seasoned the way you want it to taste. Okay, we got all this going. Now we're gonna put in about three or four bay leaves. And when the goulash is through cooking, you take the bay leaves out. There's one. I'm gonna put three in. Two. Number three. I'll put that little piece in also. Okay. You can put in about a teaspoon of salt, salt, Lord, salt, and a teaspoon of pepper or a little more, however you want it to taste. Remember, you'll be tasting and see if it, you know, has the taste that you want. Put in some pepper. Okay. And we're going to mix this all up. And I'm making this fast for you. Ordinarily, let this simmer together maybe about 15 minutes. And then you would add your dry macaroni. And I also have some beef broth. I think I'll put in about a cup of beef broth. Because the macaroni is going to absorb all of the, um, not all, but most of the juices once we put that in. And what I have here is a one pound box of elbow macaroni. And we're going to start out putting in two cups. You see? How uh, that goes. One cup. Two. Oh, we just as well put the whole box. I'm putting the whole box in. A lot of time people just put two cups, but I put the whole box in today. Mix that up and cover it and let it simmer or let it cook on low about 15 or 20 minutes until your noodles are done. And I'm also going to sprinkle in a little paprika because I want it a little bit more red. Let me sprinkle in some in. Okay, now I'm going to put the lid on it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes until the noodles get done and then I will be back. The goulash is ready. Look at all that goodness. The recipe will be down below in the description. And we also have a pan of cornbread right out of the oven to go with it so dinner is ready everyone have a blessed and prosperous day remember i love you but god loves you more 
Why? Because you are his masterpiece. Be blessed, everyone. Bye-bye.